what's up are you want tech cloud here and in this video i'm going to talk about the display of the samsung galaxy s6 edge and let's go to the settings and uh, as you can see there are four uh, configurations of the display adopt display amo led cinema amo led photo and basic and as i select them you can see them changing the color the best one out of them is the basic one which will uh, show you colors closer to srgb and the worst one is the adopt display which have uh, crazy wide gamut and uh, highly saturated colors and that's how it is uh, configured so let's put it in the adopt display and let's compare it with the iphone 6 plus if you hate uh, iphones then uh, you might uh, say that uh, why i have added iphone and iphone display is not perfect as well I agree it is not perfect but uh, I know the flaws pretty well so it is easier to compare with that. And as you can see in the adopt display mode the colors are very saturated which are very apparent from this uh, photo. And let's choose the uh, AMOLED cinema and let's see what happened to this photo. Now the white point has uh, gotten a little bit uh, better but colors are still saturated. Still not ideal uh, for the photo viewing or watching movies. So let's try the Moality photo. And this is the Moality photo. Once again you can see the white point is uh, very warm and you can see the skin tones are very off. The last one is the basic. This one has the most correct uh, skin tones although to me it is little bit on the warmer side. I checked the DisplayMate uh, website. You can also check that they are claiming that the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge is uh, the best display along with the Note 4. So let's uh, put the phone in the adopt display mode and uh, let's compare some of the photos. And as you can see the colors are oversaturated on uh, S6 Edge and the skin tones are different. Even the black and white photos looks uh, different as you can see here. So let's now put the display in the basic mode and I was telling you that the display mate uh, has written that the their readings are in the basic mode the white point is uh, close to 6500 Kelvin which is pretty ideal but my trained eye tells me that the white point is little bit warmer than what it should be. I thought uh, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that but I have also checked out the Erica Griffin uh, video as well. And she's also saying that uh, her S6 Edge is little bit warmer than it should be. And according to her reading, her uh, phone is 6200 instead of uh, 6500. Mine is not that warm, but uh, it's slightly warmer than what it should be. And that's why the colors and skin tones are little bit off. However, this means that uh, there is a little bit variation going on as far as the display calibration is concerned. The basic mode has the best uh, color settings and the white point as you can see on your screen but at times actually it also has some issues and uh, sometimes you will uh, get very warm uh, skin tones and as you can see in this photo the skin tones are pretty warm and making the model look a little bit uh, tanner and darker than she actually is. I personally don't mind it that much because uh, if I don't compare it with the other devices eventually I will get used to it. So let's check out the white clipping and the black clipping 
and the good news is there is no white clipping and on the black uh, clipping side i can see the squares uh, up to number three which is uh, very nice and uh, good performance as you can see on your screens so it still cannot show the last three black shades which means the shadows will which means the shadows will be a little bit uh, crushed but uh, it's not all that bad and uh, i don't mind especially i will get the inky black so it's okay so you might be wondering what does that all mean let me launch the netflix As you can see the S6 Edge has uh, launched the uh, Netflix little bit faster. Anyways uh, let's uh, load this episode and uh, let's check out the colors and the skin tones. And the S6 Edge also has launched the episode faster. However, it is still not able to stream in high resolution yet. But the iPhone 6 Plus, as soon as the Marvel logo comes up, was able to stream in high resolution. Now the S6 Edge also streaming in high resolution. I apologize for the difference in brightness now. Although I match the brightness uh, before I start this video, but as I change the orientation of the phones, the iPhone 6 Plus was on auto brightness, so that's why it has cranked the brightness a little bit. You can check out the skin tones that uh, how they are different. Similarly here you can check out again. Ignore the difference in the brightness and concentrate the difference between the colors and the skin tones. Don't get me wrong, the S6 Edge screen is uh, really great and uh, I really love it. However, I made this video just to let you know that what you will be getting when you buy this device. So guys, I hope that you have liked the video. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more videos. Take care. See you. Bye.